Hey everyone, welcome back to the Krusty Krab where it is our mission to cover every single Material UI component. And in today's video, we have a nice, easy, simple one. It is the divider component. And as a reminder, if you find value, make sure you leave a comment. It helps a lot with the algorithm and maybe subscribe if you want to learn more about React and Material UI. But let's jump straight into the divider. Essentially, it's nothing special. All it is is sort of a div that has a bit of fat border at the bottom. As you can see here, um, they have a bunch of list items in the list, and the thing that divides them uh, is just a divider. And it's purely visual. It's just to add that sort of little line in between each item. Um, and wherever you put a divider, it'll always appear. So for example, you have the first list item and then you have just an empty divider. And that's gonna just make that little line that's in between this list item and that list item. And that's essentially the basics of how a divider works. So if you found, no, I'm joking. Let's keep going over the uh, props and stuff that you can pass in. So the first thing you can do is you make you can make the divider a bit indented and they use the inset divider, uh, the inset prop for that. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is pass in variant equals inset uh, in order to do that and you'll see here that all it does is it sort of indents it um, and that's pretty much it you'll also notice that they're passing in a component here and in one of the examples below essentially normally your material UI components are wrapped uh, with a certain component I think by default the divider is just a div with some uh, you know border at the bottom but um, you can pass in any components so in this uh, example they're passing in a list item for whatever reason I don't think it really makes that much of a difference when it comes to this example um, but yeah just know that you have the ability to do that in case you didn't want your uh, you know divider to be wrapped in a div the next thing is they sort of show how you can do like subheaders with dividers there's no real like different use case towards how they're using it they just like add a typography right below uh, the divider that has like you know a specific styling to make it look slightly different um, to, to make it look like sort of the the divider is like bringing on a subheader and stuff like that so I wouldn't worry too much about this example the next cool thing and I like the look of this one a lot especially if you're sort of trying to divide content on a card um, and the content relates to each other it's not like two separate list items or anything you can uh, actually have what's called a middle divider and you'll see that it separates the content but it doesn't quite fill out the paddings on uh, each of the sides so in order to do that you're just going to change the variant to middle um, instead of you know what it norm the default which is just not passing it in or the inset uh, variant like we saw earlier above now the next thing is if you wanted any text or any no uh, you know JSX element at all um, you can have that in there in um, the actual divider and I think this is like super cool I hardly see this being used but I think you know in the right use case it could make something look really nice um, but essentially you can for example have some text and by default, if you nest anything inside of the divider, like text, it'll show up, uh, you know, in the middle. Then if you wanted to, you could pass in the text align to left or right, depending on where you wanted that text to show up. Um, and of course, you don't have to just pass in text. You could pass in any JSX node. So for example, over here, they're passing in a chip, uh, which is another Matil UI component. And that chip appears there. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, I have yet to see anyone do anything crazy like, you know, make a, a table or an accordion in the middle of a divider or anything like that but just know that it uh, is an option um, of course you also have the ability to make uh, the divider vertical so for example if you put orientation uh, vertical the orientation prop if you set that to vertical you can make it look vertical just like this one um, and yeah you can also like you know uh, give it the the same you know variant middle while the orientation is vertical and honestly that's pretty much all there is for the you know uh, divider pro, um, component it's a very simple component it could be very useful depending on what the application is and what your UX designs look like but that's pretty much it and if you found value you know what to do and I'll see you guys in the next video